hi guys welcome back to too hot to handle review season three episode four um so this will be a quicker one but first we're going to start off with the paint activity so of course they're all paired up painting each other's bodies to release the inhibitions and whatnot and everyone's having so much fun and then jazz and obi are looking like they're at a different event and they look miserable like they're at a funeral I was so disappointed because I was ruined for them. I just wanted her to move on from truth, you know, find some love with Obi, and obviously it's not happening. Um, yeah, really sad about that. She doesn't want him. She said it's his height, which I get because she's tall, but, like, I don't know if there's more to it than that. I think there is, um, possibly, and I'm a bit disappointed, but... For Obi's sake, I hope he goes and, and partners up with someone else and gets to know someone else because he seems like a really cool guy. Um, but yeah, so that, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> um, and Harry and Bo, I feel like Harry really has forced himself to like her because when you like somebody, the first thing you don't always say about them is, oh, them, they're not, I'm not attracted to them, but they're a nice girl or, oh, I would not I would never give her the time of day, but she's a nice girl. Like, he's he keeps making it clear he's not attracted to her in that way, and I don't really understand why. Like, if you like her, just say that, bro. If you don't, don't. Don't force this relationship. Because you're making her look like a second choice or undesirable, and, yeah. I don't know what Harry's doing right now. He should just be happy to have somebody and stop talking down on her like that. <laughs> um, Olga and Stevan. Um... So I'm not really surprised at that. Then they broke the rules straight away. So they're not really following the retreat values. I think, like, they're both here on the same thing. They want to have fun. Don't mind spending money. Um, so, yeah. And I'm surprised that Georgia's not at least feeling a bit jealous now she sees him kissing someone else. Like, if that happens next episode, then I won't be surprised. Especially as she's by herself right now. But yeah, Holly and Nathan. So I don't know why they gave Holly and Nathan so much shit. Like, yeah, they have spent a lot of money. But the people who have spent money also are giving them shit. Like, how hypocritical can you be? And now they're going to the suite. And they all betted on their 50... What was it? 57k. Uh, my opinion is... I think they'll do it. I think they'll make it. I hope so. Um, If they don't... I think everyone's going to literally hate them. But I feel like they actually have the best genuine connection so far in there. So, you know, they need to actually spend time talking and stuff like that rather than doing stuff in that suite. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And thank you for watching.